All right, there's a lot going on here. Let's get to read from North Dakota Republican Senator Kevin Kramer. It's nice enough to join us now via Skype. Um, you know, Senator, uh, I was seeing that the Democrats are pushing back their convention, obviously right back to back now mm -hmm. with the Republican convention. Do you see any or have you talked to anyone within the Republican Party who are worried about their convention? Well, I have not, Neil, but the fact that our convention was already somewhat later, I think, you know, makes it a little less urgent right. for us to make a, a quick decision. And I, you know, quite honestly, when you have an incumbent president, you know, it might be a little bit of a different um, dynamic surrounding that. But I've not talked to anybody about whether it would be changed. Let me get your take on these jobless claims that are out again. Uh, you know, they've been well telegraphed. A lot of people were expecting Bad news, they got it. Some are even saying it's going to get a whole lot worse. The number of unemployed Americans already at 10 million in addition with these latest claims back to back. Uh, we could be looking at 40, 45 million. Are you in that camp? Do you worry about that? Well, I don't know that I worry about it, Neil, because I, but I do expect one of two things. Either there's going to be a really high unemployment number or there's going to be a lot of people employed without without work to be done. And either way, that's why we, we fashioned the CARES Act the way we did, so that we could take care of people that are that end up on the unemployment side, but also try to provide incentives for employers to hang on to their employees, stay connected. And that's why the Paycheck Protection Act, which will be will be starting tomorrow, is my understanding. And uh, and I, I you know both both safety nets are necessary. I don't think I'd read a lot into it um, until we get past this virus. I think the economy is just going to be, you know, at a standstill at best. You know, I know this isn't your call. I know it's the governor's call. But um, North Dakota, I think only 11 states now that doesn't have a shelter in place or stay at home ordinance. Maybe right. they recommend it. I don't even know, Senator. But how do you feel mm -hmm. about that? Yeah, I think our governor, Governor Burgum, has done a great job of managing this. He has been very firm with, with guidelines and recommendations. Um, but North Dakotans, first of all, um, social distancing comes pretty natural to uh, to us. We have, I think, eight square miles for every person in the in the state. Um, also, we're, we're pretty huh. compliant people. If, if our government thinks something's necessary, we do it. So I, I appreciate that he hasn't had to mandate it. But you also you also don't see a big concentration of the disease here as yet either. We have it. We've had some deaths, but um, you know we haven't been ravaged by it, and hopefully we will be able to avoid that. Um, do you think we need another round of whatever you want to call it? the president was in to maybe an infrastructure up to multi-trillion dollar infrastructure uh, measure. What do you think of all that, Senator? Well, this is an area where, you know, the, 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 even Speaker Pelosi talked about an infrastructure package. I think an infrastructure package is the perfect stimulus because it's what we're supposed to do anyway. I think getting back to business and, and doing what we're supposed to do, maybe the best stimulus would be to stimulate the Congress to do the things we're supposed to do on time and, and provide that type of certainty. Now, the president's aiming really high with $2 trillion. He sees low interest rates as leverage as a business person. Uh, and maybe that makes some sense. Uh, but at the very least, the thing about an in infrastructure package is, it's, again, it's our responsibility. We're well behind the curve on it. We've already passed a bill unanimously out of the Environment and Public Works Committee that would be a good starting point. And, uh, and at the end of the day, you have an infrastructure that has as its primary purpose the movement of goods and services and the profitability of the private sector. So you have something that's, that adds to the, to the economy and secures that all important, um, you know, supply chain that, that's important to a recovery. Senator, thank you very much. Very good seeing you again. My pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity, Neil.